Beer, Derndel, Lederhosen, all of it. Moin! Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Gouda. Oktoberfest. Answering your burning questions. Let's check this out. I've talked about and discussed prior on the channel my kind of disdain for large crowds and just places that are generally overpopulated with people. I don't necessarily like it. I will try it. And this looks like... It's not that I won't try it. It's that I don't want to do it like multiple times. I'll try it once. I'll go visit it. I'll check it out. See what's going on. Have a party. But not every time. All right. Let's uh, hop into this Oktoberfest. Answering your burning questions. Let's see what we got. We'll discuss it. Um, help with Mr. Gritham. Mr. Al Gritham. And make sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. This is what you need to know about Oktoberfest. Sure, it's the biggest folk festival in the world and has been held here in Munich, Germany for over 200 years. But what makes it special? In Munich. in September. And what should you definitely not do here? I've been to the Oktoberfest multiple times since moving from the US to Germany, and I've learned a lot about it, so let me answer some of your burning questions. And help you avoid some classic mistakes, but more on that later. What is there to do at Oktoberfest? Drink. You might only know it for the beer, but Oktoberfest Eat or pretzels. It is so much more than that. Essentially, Oktoberfest is a fraternized two-week festival featuring 17 big and 21 small beer tents. There are thrilling rides, carnival games, and long-standing traditions. Some more unique than others. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to do that one while I was drinking. Is there any people just getting thrashed and like having difficulties on some of these rides? I don't know why I put that in parenthesis. It's not really a parenthesis putting. Here are some numbers to help you understand how big Oktoberfest really is. The festival grounds span a massive 34.5 hectares or about 48 football fields. And around 6 million people visit each year. Six million? Hot darn it. Last year, those visitors drank 5.6 million mugs of beer. They ate 170... Wait, six million vi visitors, 5.6 million mugs of beer. Something doesn't add up there. ...seven full oxen and lost 420 smartphones. Chat with the people around you in the beer tent. And gained 4.2 million pounds. And you could probably meet someone from every corner of the world. So I just met Amanda who flew all the way here from Florida. Amanda, why did you come to the Oktoberfest? I've never been to Oktoberfest before. It's been on my bucket list since as long as I can remember. And um, I'm a flight attendant, so I get the benefits. So I just hopped on over to visit my friend. She's a flight attendant, but her profession there says TikTok influencer. I met the most amazing people. Everyone is so friendly here. It's like the best experience I've ever had. But Oktoberfest is not only popular with tourists. Lots of locals come and even refer to it as the fifth season. The first Oktoberfest was held in October of 1810 and actually had nothing to do with beer. It was the celebration of the wedding of Prince Ludwig of Bavaria to Princess Theresa of Saxony Hildburghausen. The royal Did they change it to September because it's nicer weather? couple invited all of Munich to celebrate with a horse race and all the free food and drinks they could want. All held on this very fair ground known as Theresienswiese or Theresa's Meadow. Everyone enjoyed it so much they decided to celebrate again year after year, adding in the beer and eventually developing into the fair we see today. It's warmer. Turns out the answer is simple, German practicality. After the success of the early editions, the festival was later extended to add more and more fun activities. So it just made sense to start the festival in September and enjoy the warmer weather longer. Don't order a stein here. The big, almost one liter beer mug you get in the tents is called a moss. The proper way to drink it is to hold it by the handle, clink it with your friends, and say, Prost. Don't forget to- Prost. Cheers. To look each other in the eyes. In 
Interestingly, only beer brewed in Munich by one of the six legacy breweries is allowed to be served here at the festival. So you're definitely getting the real thing no matter which tent you're in. Lots of people walk into the beer tents and think, where's the bar? But actually the tents are table service only, so you need to be sitting down to be served. You can either reserve online or arrive early and try- <laughs> It looks like somewhat chaotic, but also a lot of fun. Your luck to find a spot. Dandel. Lederhosen. You will see locals and tourists alike dressed up in dirndls and lederhosen. Some more authentic than others. <laughs> Traditional dress has seen a big revival with recent generations. But do Bavarians mind tourists wearing it too? I don't also, think so. If it's a good dress, then I think it's already in order. If it's such a shit dress from Amazon, then it's blöd. But at best, it's always when it's from Bayern. I love it. Seeing everyone in Tracht is just, yeah, what Oktoberfest is, right? Auf Oktoberfest tragt jeder drauf, was ich aber nicht ganz richtig finde. Weil es ist schon ein Unterschied, ob ich aus der Gegend komme und eine Tracht trage, so wie yeah. ich, oder ob jemand, äh, ich habe ja gestern einen Bericht gesehen, da äh, 20 Leute aus Neuseeland kommen und genauso ausschauen wie ich. <lacht> A proper Dirndl or later housing can cost you hundreds of Euros. But my hot tip, check the secondhand stores or rent your outfit. Just don't come in a Halloween costume. <laughs> a lot of naps going on, I notice. And there are a few other things to avoid if you want to enjoy yourself here. Don't try to stand and chug your beer. Some tents hate this so much you'll actually get thrown out. Don't dance on the tables. That's what the benches are for. Don't try to bring in your suitcase. Large bags are not allowed, but there are paid storage areas. Don't forget your cash. In most tents, the servers don't take card. And don't find yourself on the grassy hill. It's called the Kotzhugel or Vomit Hill for a reason. Trust me. But all in all... That's what I was mentioning about earlier. People just getting thrashed and... I was thinking if they were on that ride that goes in a big circle, what do you call it? Like a, you're in a little like chair that swings on a string. And if you puked off of there... Oktoberfest is definitely still something for your bucket list. Got any other questions? Leave them in the comments below. All right, cool. Um, certainly a bucket list event for me. And one day until we go. But let's uh, keep our fingers crossed, right? All right. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen.